So uh, welcome back to my channel. In honor of the palette I'm using today, I wanted to introduce you to one of my babies who seems to not be very happy with me right now because I just pushed him down because he tried to kill all my makeup. But this is my rider. Say hey. He's pretty. He's angry, but he's pretty. You good? Okay. Oh, okay. On the table. Alright, so today I wanted to give y'all another look with this Laura Lee palette and with Halloween coming up. I've just been feeling so dark and vampy lately and I have actually never done a smoked out eye this dark before, but I knew with the pigmentation of Oddball that it was going to be a lot easier to control the black eyeshadow in this palette. So I decided to take a chance on this look. And I'm really excited with how it turned out and kind of nervous to see if my coworkers <laughs> have something to say because I'm looking real gothic today. I'm wearing all black, black heels, black smoky eye with red crease. They're going to think I'm crazy today, but it's all right. So we used this beauty. It's not really focusing in because it's so shiny. It just can't handle it. If you didn't watch my full review swatches and my first tutorial, you can scroll down a little bit and you'll find that. And this is the inside of the palette for anybody who hasn't seen it yet. This is gorgeous and if you don't know, this is Laura Lee's first palette in her makeup brand, Laura Lee Los Angeles. Um, definitely one of my favorite palettes. I've used it at least a color or two in almost every look I've done for the past like a week and that's about how long I've had it. So uh, yeah, I'm already loving it. I uh, hope y'all like this look and if you want to see how to create this black smoky red crease vampy vibe I've got going on, just keep watching. We're going to be in voiceover mode today just to save y'all a little bit of time and uh, I hope y'all enjoy. Cool. If you are already subscribed to my channel, hit that button. I can't get him to come over here. I was going to get him to tell y'all, you know, but he's still angry with mommy. Come here. Come here. Tell the people. So, yeah, if you're not already subscribed, hit that button. Hit the button. No? Okay. Hit the button and hit the bell, that way you get notifications so that you know when I post. And uh, let's go into voiceover mode. Uh, see y'all in a second, guys. Okay guys, so right into the Cat's Pajamas palette. First thing we do is our big fluffy brush and set our MAC Paint Pot with Okie Dokie. This is just our bone white, sets down our primer, gets everything ready to go. Then we take our white bristle brush and we dig into Balm Diggity, which is the Balm Diggity. I use this in my crease for a transition shade almost every day since I've gotten the palette. It is the best. Then we take that same brush and we're going to dig into Kooky. Um, you saw in the intro, I'm doing a red crease. So I use this as my first real crease color just to get that red tint in there and get that vamp vibe go going right from the jump. And it's really easy to build up and blend and get the desired color. So then I went into Out the Other just to deepen up that outer V and kind of the edge of the crease just to give it a little more dimension and like always I'm still on that same brush. Do not need a million brushes for one look in my opinion. So once I finished that it was time to get down to business and go into Oddball. I took this shade on my finger and just started packing it on the lid. This did take a little while because Oddball is pigmented, but it doesn't just go down a solid black color. You have to kind of work with it a little bit 
which is totally okay. I would much rather work with the color and be able to build it up how I want than make a mistake. And since it took a while, I'm going to cut out that second eye. And the next thing we're going to do is dip into a kooky again just to build up a little bit of that color in the crease now that we know what we're working with. And I know that I need the crease to be darker to really pop against the black on the lid. <clears throat> okay, so then it is into in one ear. And I decided that I wanted to give it almost like a halo effect and lay this gorgeous shimmer, my favorite, favorite color in the palette, just right on top of Oddball, kind of in the middle of my lid. Although I did stray a little bit because that color is just so pretty. I want to put it everywhere. Okay, so off camera, got everything done. And now I'm back for my lower lash line. I went into Cray Cray and just stuck it on my lower lash line. And yes, we can all take a second to laugh at my lower lash line faces while I go into Kooky just to get that red color down there on that lower lash line. And by the way, everything I use will be in the description so that you can know what else I've got on my face. I took a very small brush and took Oddball and just packed it directly onto the lower lash line. I did not want to get smoked out with Oddball there because I felt like it would start to look like I just had a black eye or dark circles, which I do have, but thank God for shape tape. So back into Kooky, just to blend out Oddball and get it smoked back out a little bit and kind of just blend everything together. And then into in one ear and I decided to be different and put this into my inner corner to bring around that red and I wanted this to be a really intense look. So I didn't want to just do my typical gold in the inner corner. Then I took my fluffy brush again with in one ear and while this is not a brow bone highlight it does add a different effect so I just put that in the brow bone. So that's it for today guys. I hope you enjoyed this look and I'll see you again on Saturday. Bye!